Okay, so now that you've had a, a look at how internal seam lines and seam lines increases and pleats and folds actually work within Garment Maker, we're going to take it to a practical example. Basically, we're going to build a skirt for our, our generic man. Well, he's the character that we've got. He comes with a DVD. He's, he's rigged with biped and skin, so he's ready to animate. You can use him as kind of a test form for whatever creation. Unfortunately, this time it's going to be a dress or a skirt that he's going to be wearing. So, at the moment, we don't need him, so I'm going to go ahead and hide him. I'm going to go to our top viewport for our skirt itself, and I'm going to add some internal seam lines along here that I'm going to use to create the pleats. So, what I'm going to do is go into vertex subobject mode, and I am going to start to refine out my pattern. So, I'm going to just start placing... Let's actually undo those, place these a little bit more towards the center. Now they're not precise, obviously, if I was doing this for production or something like that, you'd want to be a little bit more precise. And in fact, let's actually add four total so I can create one huge pleat per panel. All right, and now I'm going to create a line. And I'm going to turn on snaps and make sure vertex is set. I'm going to turn off midpoint. I'm going to hold down the shift key so it goes up to a certain point. And then what I can do is I'll right click after each one. Now what I can do is draw out these seam lines so that they're all exactly the same height. I've got vertex snap on. Makes it pretty simple to do this. And then I'll make some adjustments. Again, as I said, this isn't precise right now, but that's okay. For turned off. There we go. So one more. Now, I'll turn off snaps. I'll grab these and kind of angle them. Considering these panels aren't perfectly vertical, what I want to do is adjust the patterns so that these outer pleat edges kind of taper inward a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to make sure that all of these, see I've got one here that's not a corner, I want to make sure that that's a corner so I don't get overlapping loop problems. And then actually from here what I'm going to do is select all of the new verts that I built along the edge of the skirt and I'm going to break those so that they're all knocked out like that. Okay, so when I apply Garment Maker, I get two splines meet at one point. It's probably not what I wanted to have happen. Let's delete that, and we'll go through and figure out what we did wrong. Ah, the the what I had told you about earlier, I got a little hasty in that I've got all these internal seam lines and I didn't even bother to tell Garment Maker or tell the spline that these are internal. So I go back down to my surface properties. Instead of one, I'll make it two, which is what I want. And now when I apply Garment Maker, I'll actually get the panels and you'll notice I get internal seam lines like that. So I've now got and let's actually bring this up to about one. So we get a little bit more density in here. And you'll notice that I get the regular creasing edges up to a point, and then the Delaunay mesh tends to, to move on, as you might expect. Now, I need to place the panels. So what I'm going to do is unhide the generic man. And I'm going to go into a user viewport. I'm going to turn off the grid so it's a little bit easier. And let's go into shaded mode. And within here, 
I'm going to go into panel subobject mode. I'm going to select all my panels and I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to make sure angle snap is on and then bring them up 90 degrees which is what I want and at this point what I can do is I can select those two panels Oops, I'm not in panel subobject mode. I guess that would help. Select those. And I can turn that off just for viewport display speed. And what I'm going to do is move this forward a little bit. And in the front viewport, I'm going to make sure that I've got my panels in roughly the right position. And they can be a little, little overlapped. They don't have to be too much. And in fact, in a moment, I am going to rotate them so that they are not. In fact, let's go into shaded mode. And when I want to place them so that they are fairly close to the positions that I want them to take. Okay, so those two are done. Now I'm going to take those two and I'm going to rotate them 180 degrees. I'm going to turn it around. And again, this is just kind of, let's actually go to the back viewport. There we go. For anybody who wants to know, VK are the hotkey shortcuts to get to the back viewport. Kind of handy to, to know. So I'm going to select both of those, move them where they should be, and again I'm going to do some rotation here so that they're not necessarily overlapping and in fairly correct spots. Okay, so now I've got to take this last panel, again in the front view. I can move it up. This is the basically the hemline of this entire skirt. And you can see I need to make it curved so it wraps around the body. And I'll probably need to reposition it a little bit. There we go. And at this point, um, I can start defining seams. Now, with a garment like this, you've got, you know you're going to have to have a multi-segment. All these top edges are going to have to be pulled together via these darts, and then they're going to have to be stitched together with this top edge. And it can, you can start getting seam line topology wrong if you, if you do the ordering wrong. So, um, Pay attention here as I do this. First thing you want to do is select the the darts and sim and create seams for those, and then between the panels, which makes sense because you have to have basically what is a contiguous piece of cloth for it to be to create a seam line. So I'm going to create the seam line here, and then here and then this one and then this one. Now the thing is I'm going to leave this one open because it tends to coincide with the opening here on the uh, the waistband of this skirt. So I'm going to leave it alone for right now. I'm going to get out of Garment Maker for a second. I'm going to make this guy transparent. Whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Alt, there we go. So I can kind of see through him for the moment. And I'll select my uh, my cloth again and go back into seam subobject mode. And now what I need to do is actually select all of these edges, these top edges, which I'm going to need to create a multi-segment. Okay, 
And the next thing that I want to do is select this top one and I'll hit create seam. And it's telling me that they're not within tolerance, meaning they're not necessarily the exact same length. So I'm going to bring this up and try again. It's still not within tolerance. I didn't bother to measure this. Let's bring this up quite a bit and see. 